Mert Straffer here with another Big Brother Canada 7 eviction interview. Sitting here with Stephanie, am I saying it right? Yes, you are. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Why are you sitting here? I was evicted. 3-1 vote. Blindsided. Yeah. Were you surprised? I was very surprised. I didn't expect Dane to go against me. I thought I had Kira's vote. I, I expected it to go 3-1 to one before Mark to be out the door. So, yeah, totally blindsided. Earlier this season, you referred to yourself as not wanting to appear like the damsel in distress. Why was it important for you not to come off that way? I think I just wanted to make sure that people knew that I was a good player, that I had a mind of my own. Uh, I wanted to kind of like have some influence in the house rather than people be influencing me. But towards the end, I kind of had to play into that role more because I was losing my people, such as Kiki and Mackie, and wasn't winning anything. So people didn't want to, you know, they weren't afraid of me at the end. Uh, speaking of Kiki, you had conversations with her where you sort of said that there are different ways to play this game, that it's not just about the competitions. Can you outline some of the moves that you made that might not have sort of been seen? Um, I think that talking to Corey, spilling all the beans about what was going on the week before the whole backdoor thing with Sam, I think that that kind of gave her like the push to get Sam out. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I definitely tried to campaign for people like Kiki and Mackie. However, it didn't end up working, but I think that I tr the fact that I tried really hard and that, the, uh, that I was loyal was probably like my biggest thing. There was only one vote for you to stay. Who do you think voted for you to stay? Based on the goodbye messages, Damien, he poor thing didn't know what was going on. He was my boy. Um, but I, I, I initially, when I was in the house and I heard the vote, I thought it was uh, Dane who kept me. And then the goodbye messages found out that there was this big guy's alliance. So yeah, yeah, it was, it was Damien who gave me that vote. Um, Dane and Kira were your closest alliances, like sort of in the house. Uh, Kiki, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, wait. How do how, you know what? Let's kind of, so how do we say it? So it's Kira and Kiki. Kiki. Okay, yeah. so we'll just go with Kiki. Yeah. Yes, Dane and Kiki were your closest allies in the house. Can you sort of like outline your relationships with both? <clears throat> I think Kiki was my girl. If she had stayed, like she was, I was going to be loyal to her till, till the end. Um, however, with Dane, it was more of like I also really loved him as a friend but um i had to rely on him because he was winning all the comps uh so i i think that I, he ha i thought also he had more social influence so i had to like make him feel like mm -hmm. i was there for him and like i was his girl um so it was a bit it was different and it was it was hard because kiki didn't tr fully trust mm -hmm. dane but i fully trusted dane fully trusted kiki so i was kind of like in the middle of that but yeah they were both my ride or dies but first came kiki and then dane um, that's interesting because that's exactly where I was going next. Yeah. Like, how did it affect your game when Kiki called Dane out moving forward after she had left? It was it was tough because I feel like I, I honestly don't think that it changed a lot of things. But uh, hearing Dane be so mad at Kiki was hard for me to listen to mm -hmm. because I couldn't I couldn't be so blunt and open about like uh, backing up Kiki after she was gone because now I was in the house mm -hmm. by myself. I had to look after my own like game. Um, so it, it was hard having to hear him talk badly about Kiki and because I, I knew what Kiki was trying to do. I knew that she was going to blow up his game because she kind of like worded the mouth, the, the words to me before. But yeah, that was, that was tough just listening to him talk about Kiki while she, when she left. Um, you kiss Dane in the house. After the game is over, do you think you're going to be friends or something more? Just friends. I That day that that happened, there was a party and that's all I'll say, but... Yeah, just friends. We're so different. We're so different. And I thought I was doing a good job at keeping it just friendship. I didn't want to cross that boundary. Ended up happening. But yeah, we're, we're too different. We'll, we're just going to be friends for sure. Um, in the goodbye messages, Mark sort of revealed that he was behind the one to sort of come up with this plan to backdoor himself. Were you surprised when he said that? I was very surprised. I'm still wondering if there was, I feel like there's something more. I don't know if he's trying to play up his own game in front of me to get the jury votes to make people think that he's an evil genius. Um, he's going to have a lot of explaining to do. Hopefully some of the guys get out so that they can explain things to me. Uh, but we'll see. If, if Mark really is this like genius behind the scenes, then maybe he'll get my vote. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll need a lot of explanation. And in the goodbye messages, Adam also said that the boys were working together. When he said that, were you surprised? I was very surprised. I was shocked. Obviously, people had said it to me before, like Kira, Kiki believed it, Chelsea, Sam. I was probably the only girl that was just like, no, no, like it's not, it's not true. Like, cause I was so close to Dane and I believed him and I trusted him. But yeah, I was very surprised. To be a good Big Brother player, is it better to sort of be good at the competitions or to have a good social game, in your opinion? In my opinion, social game is seventy-five percent of the game. Mm -hmm. 25 is comps. If you have a solid social game, maybe win one comp, you're good. I think if, you're, if your social game sucks, but you're winning every competition, 
it's not Big Brother. In terms of strategy, do you feel like you are a pilot this season or a passenger in somebody else's game? I feel like looking back, like at the beginning, I definitely thought that I had more say in what was going on. But then once my two people left, uh, I was definitely more of a passenger. Yeah, which sucked. But I, I, I wasn't winning comps. And when you're not winning, you don't really have much influence in the house. And almost done. What were your best and worst moves in the house? I think that the best one was trying to get Sam out. Um, my worst one, probably also that because I, I, the worst one would probably be like not listening to to the girls when they came to me. But mm -hmm. I feel like even if I had listened, things would have worked out the same way. Just because the four dudes, if they're as tight as they're making it seem to be, uh, then things would have worked out the same. So yeah. And finally, what was the best part about being on Big Brother Canada? Oh my God, just like a dream come true, like just being in the house, a house that you watch on TV for years and just getting the whole experience, getting to learn the ins and outs and just having to, like, the second family that I know we're, we're going to continue to be close after the game and just knowing that they're there. Yeah. Awesome, Esty. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, thank you, so much. you. Thank you so much. <laughs>